Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the seven parts of a Cartesian plane. So, the first and arguably most important part of a Cartesian plane is simply the origin. A single point, often represented by the letter O, given by the coordinate 0, 0. Easy enough. Then we also have two axes. The axis that traditionally runs from left to right is the x-axis. x-axis. This typically represents our independent variable. Next, we have a vertical axis which intersects the x-axis at the origin. This is most commonly referred to as the y-axis. This represents our dependent variable. For a given function, one puts in values of x and then determines what value of y corresponds to it. Lastly, we have our four quadrants, typically numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, going counterclockwise. In the first quadrant, both the x and y values are positive. In the second, x is negative, y is positive. In the third, both x and y are negative. And in the fourth, x is positive and y is negative. So our seven parts, the origin, the x-axis, the y-axis, and our four quadrants. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the seven parts of the Cartesian plane.